And so we're going to uh, welcome uh, Melissa de Arabian back to our show. It's so nice to have you. Oh, thank, thank you, you for having so much me. for coming back again. Now this time we're, we're gearing up for Super Bowl. And you want to make it kid friendly as well as for the adults. Well, yeah, I've got yeah. I've got four little girls, and two and a half of them are picky. Okay. So I like <laughs> to me to find yeah. that. that yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, picky. Yeah. Picky. Yeah. Picky. 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 Oh, picky. I think he's picky. Again, another show. <laughs> a whole other show. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, for me, the sweet spot is to find something that I can serve adults that my kids will also like. Exactly. So I want to have either a kid friendly flavor profile with an adult looking kind of package or I want to have a kid kid friendly package like a meatball with an adult flavor profile right and, and who doesn't I know your favorite uh, flavor profile is cream cheese right well yeah. we're using the, we're using yeah. our cream cheese really as a sort of our canvas yeah I know. and so today we're gonna do and we're doing a cream cheese Wellington oh che oh cream cheese well it's gonna be kind of it's gonna be kind of a cross between like a brie and a puff pastry oh, which is super that. fancy mm -hmm. right and like a cream cheese log which is very kid friendly. Yeah, and you're using the puff pastry that you can buy in the frozen food section. That's exactly right. You know, I will tell you this. Have you ever made your own puff pastry? It's miserable. It is don't not touch. worth the don't time touch. and energy <laughs> unless you're a pastry no. chef. <laughs> can we bring it in? Let's bring it in so everybody can enjoy it while we make it. <laughs> oh. So I just rolled out. Oh, it's fun. Very, yeah, oh, yeah, super yeah. fun. Yeah, I started so at two pretty. this morning. Ooh, We're so great. Oh, All right, so we have our so puff pastry rolled out. I just out. rolled out two thirds of the puff pastry. You cut off one third, so you got two thirds here. And then I'm going to take this cream cheese which is of course you know super budget friendly option and we're doing mm. bacon ranch flavor profile stop so it so we're getting the kids excited you frosted and it. also going mark in. going in all right going so in. it just, does require a knife i just it does. Yeah, yeah it kind of is a you know spoon and crostini scenario bacon all right so, so oh yeah there's oh, bacon I, you oh, that's and bacon is mark, good. Mark, mark, mark there's bacon in it mark mark this is oh do you not eat pork? no he loves <laughs> bacon i was like wait what i think i've made bacon i was like wait I have made bacon for you before wow. yes. you on the put, show. Yes, you have. You Not can put enough. bacon on anything and Mark will eat it. Well, that's, no you know, what that's the right attitude to have. The, the bacon pop tart. Well, they have that one. would be like oh. the perfect. Oh. Right? Oh. Have to make that. <laughs> okay, I can't. Right. So I added on some uh, green onions. You could use chives, oh. whatever. <laughs> and just fold it right up. Look how easy this is. This so is easy. It really is easy. And then just fold can this you, under. Voila. You can use other flavor variations if you want. And what? could they be? You know what, you could use almost anything that you want. Now, if you want to do something uh, like a wing to the buffalo wing, use a you know, rotisserie chicken tossed in hot sauce and add blue cheese. Or you could go with pepperoni and you know oh. Italian seasoning, whatever you wanted to do. You could go, go with curry. Just wrap it up like this curry into the oven. Great. Smart. Let's do a little tiny egg wash on it so, so it's shiny and pretty, wash. right? Okay, so you wash it all up. 35 minutes into the oven. At what could temperature? Could be easier. About 350. Okay. And Wait, can I bring something? Not, what? This is a lot to do on Super Bowl. So. Oh, but you oh, can do this the day before if you want. It's so easy. Yeah. 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 Wait. This, this took oh, like two know. minutes. Oh, wait, you but you could it. do it the day before. Oh, you Flour. do it the day before. Yeah. yeah. yeah sure. The and then put it in the oh, fridge. You could do oh. Yeah. Before you yeah. cook it. You could do a hundred of them. Yeah. How many people are you having over Super Bowl? Anything other than opening a bag is too much to do on Super Bowl. Okay. confused about this make ahead. So you mm. make it, but you don't cook it, and then you just pop it in the oven, Super Bowl Sunday. That's exactly morning. what you make it, okay. make it, wrap it in a plastic, put it in the in, in the, the fridge, fridge, and then Got look, it. let's just dig it. No, as you um, should. Look, Melissa, does you this know you're freeze? with limited what? skill set over here, so whatever it oh, is to you, <laughs> way past. I, I'm not a neophyte on this show, right? <laughs> No. Now I'm going to put this in here that? so we can see it. This is the bacon. You don't have bacon in yours? Okay. Yeah, do you have the bacon and mm. the yeah, bacon? Oh, yeah. It's really, yeah, it's the really same good. one. Yeah, it's a okay. crostini, vegetables, whatever you want to so, do. So, excuse me, uh, so I didn't hear you. Can you freeze this? You know what? You can freeze it. The only thing that's a little bit tricky is that the puff pastry is frozen, mm. then you're thawing it out mm. and freezing it again. So it's not going to be the perfect texture. I, I recommend really the fridge if you oh go that direction. Oh my God. More of Melissa's this recipes, so by the way, on, uh, on our web series, Picky Eaters, not Hickey Eaters. Hickey Eaters. Hickey Eaters. Hickey Eaters Project on foodnetwork.com.